Sparkplug the wombat he was called Sparkplug because he had a lot of energy. Sometimes it was too much. Most of the other wombats liked to be tired and only eat and sleep, but Sparkplug was not like that. He would run around the forest with his best friend Kanga, they met each other when they were little animals, even before they learned how to go in the potty. Baby Sparkplug Baby Kanga Some of the other wombats did not like how much energy Sparkplug and Kanga had because they sometimes woke the sleepy wombats up when they were running around in the forest. They made faces at Kanga and Sparkplug. Whenever Sparkplug woke them up, he said he was sorry and tried not to do it again, but the wombats told Sparkplug, you should just lay around and eat like we do. Sometimes he tried to lay around, but he could only lay down and eat for five seconds, then his foot would start moving and off he and Kanga would run. One day one of the sleepy wombats told Sparkplug. Wombats do not have a lot of energy so you must not be a wombat, and the sleepy wombat told Kanga, you must be a koala because kangaroos are not friends with wombats. This did not seem like the truth to Sparkplug, because he had seen koalas and they kind of looked like a bear and they smelled like a pig. Kanga did not look like a bear. He could not climb trees and Kanga smelled like stinky feet not a pig. Kanga was Sparkplug's friend, so it was confusing what the sleepy wombats were telling them. Kanga was now very confused, he thought the sleepy wombats might be right. He told Sparkplug I might be a koala. Sparkplug said, we should probably ask my mom if this is the truth, because I don't know if the wombats who sleep a lot are very good at telling the truth. So Sparkplug and Kanga went to ask his mom if the other wombats were telling them the truth. Sparkplug's mom said, Sparkplug you are most definitely a wombat you are just special because you have energy that most of the wombats don't have. It's a gift from the shepherd who created the forest you just need to learn how to use it in a good way. Sparkplug's mom said, you should take some snacks to your nana wombat across the forest, you can run there very fast she needs it soon because she is hungry. That will be a good use of your energy. Hashtag Nana Wombat after they got back from taking snacks to Sparkplug's Nana. Kanga was still confused so Sparkplug's mom said, you two should probably go talk to Mr. Sheepdog, because he knows a lot of truth about the animals in the forest. He works for the shepherd who created the forest. At first Kanga did not want to meet Mr. Sheepdog, because he now thought it would be fun to be a koala. He was starting to hope the sleepy wombats were right. But Sparkplug said we need to find out the truth from Mr. Sheepdog, because that's what my mom told us to do. After they asked him the questions, Mr. Sheepdog took one look at Sparkplug and one look at Kanga and said, Sparkplug just because you have more energy than other wombats it doesn't mean you're not a wombat. Many wombats who lay around all day are not very good at telling the truth. You need to listen to what your mom tells you, she told you the truth, you are a wombat you just need to use your energy for good things. Kanga asked Mr. Sheepdog, I'm a koala, right? Sheepdog shook his head and said, Kanga the wombats who sleep a lot did not tell you the truth, you are a kangaroo, the shepherd made you to be a kangaroo. Kanga was disappointed because he wanted to climb trees, but Mr. Sheepdog said Kanga, you were made to run very fast and hop very high, why would you need to climb trees? That's not what you're made to do. Kanga realized that Mr. Sheepdog had told him the truth and decided from then on, he was going to always be what the shepherd made him to be, a kangaroo. The last thing Mr. Sheepdog told Kanga and Sparkplug was that any animal can be a friend as long as they tell the truth about themselves and others and are nice to each other. It doesn't matter that Kanga is a kangaroo or that Sparkplug is a wombat, you can both be friends. Now Kanga is happy being a kangaroo, Sparkplug is also happy with the energy the shepherd gave him. They now use their energy for good things. They help to take tasty snacks to all the nana and papa animals in the forest. Key points for today's story. Use your energy to do good things. Don't listen to people who lay around all the time. Listen to your parents. Be kind. Be who God made you to be. Always try to find the truth. Take snacks to your nana, she needs it to, Andrew and Isaac from, Uncle Buck.